Hello, this is Kylo. I'm going to show you my uh, poster collection. I did a video of this about a year ago, but some things have changed. So, we're going to go through and see what I got going on here. That's a Velvet Underground uh, card. It's a double postcard from 1968. And uh, that's uh, from a place called Retinal Circus. And I've been getting those uh, about two or three years ago. All the cards from there that they promoted with cards, all those cards hit eBay. And you can still pick them up, you know, pretty cheaply. All these Retinal Circus cards. I got some velvet, I got a whole bunch of them. There's a Vulcan. Vulcan Gas Company Handbell, Mississippi Fred McDowell, that's floated between two pieces of glass. That's a Grateful Dead Blood, Sweat and Tears card. That's a Doors and a Grateful Dead card. That's a uh, Pink Floyd with Sid Barrett, Winterland, Big Brother and the Holding Company, Richie Havens, and, uh, and uh, Pink Floyd with Sid Barrett at Winterland. Postcard. That's on a really cool, it's got like wine colored matting, wine colored matting, and like a distressed like orange, well, not orange, but a distressed gold frame. That's a really nice piece. That's Pink Floyd's first promotional piece from EMI. For Arnold Lane, Candy in a Current Bun. It's in mint condition. It's a little faded. It's so old. Um, but that's the first piece of promotional material done by the record company for them. My friend Mike gave that to me because he knew I'd take care of it. This is a series of uh, tickets for Bill Graham Productions. These are all the Bill Graham Productions tickets. Three sets, three sets of shows, nine shows total, with the tickets archivally mounted and framed. Again, that's the that's the wine-colored matting. It's after the one in there with the with the uh, distressed. Uh, antique gold frame. That's a guiche print of uh, Piper of the Gates of Dawn album cover. It's the size of the album cover. And I got that from my buddy Vic, Vic Singh, the photographer. I like this piece. This is a Vulcan Gas Company, 13th for elevators. It's called the Poo Poster. I had this restored. It was in rough shape when I got it. It's been signed by Spencer Pershkin of Shiva's, Ed Gwynn of the Conqueroo, Danny Thomas of the Elevators, John Ike Walton of the Elevators, Ronnie Leatherman of the Elevators. Beautiful. This is one of the best pieces of the 60s, I think. It's triple matted. I mean, I went to town on it. Triple matted and framed. Beautiful frame. Expensive glass. Restoration. That's another Vulcan. All these I get restored. I get them at least deacidified. Okay, soaked in a deacidifier bath, little bits, little rips and tears fixed and stuff. A lot of these Vulcans have been on some hippie's wall, okay, for the past 40 years. 
and a little worse for the wear. These are uh, Lord Augustus, that was uh, Augie Myers' band after Sir Doug had to lay low for a while due to a pot bust. This is a 13th floor elevators first printing Avalon Ballroom signed by everybody. Tommy Hall, Clementine Hall, Ronnie Leatherman, Danny Thomas, John Ike Walt, and Rocky Erickson. Beautiful. Beautiful piece. And it's it's double matted with white, white and blue matting, and the white matting has an orange core that matches the frame. It's sick. Sick. That's an Arthur Lee Forever Changes at Town Hall in New York City poster. I just loved it. I got it. Framed her up. This is a famous uh, Vulcan handbill. It's a little dark down here. Sorry, but it's the Fugs. Done by Jim Franklin. Fugs and Shivas. It's a typewriter on a toilet. This one is known as Harry Pumpkin by Jim Franklin. New Atlantis, again, Vulcan Gas Company. The Children, New Atlantis. Art by Jim Franklin, Harry Pumpkin, it's called. This is called Snot Box. This is End of Coal Avenue in Dallas, Vulcan Gas Company production, art by Jim Franklin. That's a Lucifer Rising, uh, Kenneth Anger premiere for Lucifer Rising film. That's by Rick Griffin. It's like, it's like really cool etching, you know, pen and ink. It's like really badass, man. Lucifer Rising, A Love Vision by Kenneth Anger. 666, baby. My fiance is really devout Christian, but she has never called me out on having this in the house. So it's a really a dead mint piece I got. Framed her up. It's on like a metallic frame with like a, 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 a gray matting. Sick. All right, here's another Vulcan. I have to step back because the Vulcans are big. Everything's bigger in Texas. Shiva's Shiva's headband and Bubble Puppy. Dollar fifty to get in. It's by Rick Griffin. It's like colors, man. It's just a weird, weird. Uh, Weird big poster. All these Vulcans are really ultra rare. A little dark. That's a Muddy Waters. First printing, of course. All these are first printings. Muddy Waters, 1966 at the Fillmore. Two handbills by the Mothers. Freak out and freak in at the Shrine Expedition Hall. I think the po these are concerts are like a week or two apart. Freak out, freak in. All right, it's a little dark. I apologize. Velvet Underground, Avalon Ballroom poster, and then this is BB King and Moby Grape. Okay, it's got like a a mark on it, okay? But I framed her up. Then here's my guest bedroom. When I attended the Psych Fest, I bought a Psych Fest poster. And then I have under under that, under in the corner there, I have all my portfolios of stuff that's not framed, like even more, you know, 
stuff that I haven't framed up yet. And then, sorry it's a little dark. This is Rocky Erickson vinyl, okay? Mars Record, Two-Headed Dog, the Bermuda single, the CBS, the CBS, uh, uh, the CBS, uh, the CBS single, okay? That's his first three singles and like a white vinyl thing and something else. My Rocky vinyl, okay? And then here, here's a Rocky Erickson poster. Gorgo, remember him? Another poster, Rocky Erickson. These are from the 70s and early 80s. Here's another Vulcan Gas Company. It's like a double handbill, paper handbill, of like an angel. Shiva's headband. Another Vulcan. Another Shiva's. They were like the house band. Here. Another Vulcan. Shiva's. These are paper. They're floated between two pieces of glass. Do you see that? Because they're thin paper. This one's a little crooked. Rocky Erickson and Bleeb Alien. This is from like 75. Signed by Rocky. Okay. It's got all the Bleeb Alien and posters and UFOs and snakes and, you know, occult shit on it. You know? Poster. Then in here, this is like a story in my office slash storage area, okay? Um, elevator Charlatans, hand, uh, not hand, bill card. Golden Dawn, 2004 tour poster signed by the entire band, okay? Dylan, Phil Lesh at the, uh, at, at uh, Cornell, okay, when I was working up in Ithaca. Rocky, when I saw him last Halloween, okay. And then here, here's one. I have, I have to get this up. The Zombies 2004 tour, signed by Colin and Rod, okay. See him down there. When I saw I saw him at Alice Cooperstown in Phoenix, they were great. By the way, I saw him at the bar. I'm like Colin and Rod, how you doing? Sign my poster. Like, yeah, mate, sure. Bought him a beer. Signed my poster. And that's uh, Grateful Dead 1995 Fall Tour poster by Michael Everett. That's my first one I had framed, I think. My first poster I bought. They were selling them out of the back of... Uh, of uh, Rolling Stone magazine after Jerry died, I bought one. This is a double, double po. It's not a double poster. It's a proof sheet. Do you see the colors along the top? Okay. And it's signed by David Singer and the other artist. And it's Percy Sledge at the and Merle Saunders and Percy Sledge. I got it at the right price. I think I paid like sixty bucks for it or something for a proof sheet signed by the artist. Bring it on, you know. I haven't had time to frame it, so I got it hanging in a. I got it hanging up by nails in a plastic thing, in here. Here's my pal Jerry Lightfoot, a beautiful human being and a fantastic guitarist. His two favorite guitar players were Stacy Sutherland and John Cipollina. And he knew he knew both of them personally. Okay, knew Stacy, knew John, and man, could he wail out, man. Texas from Texas, Jerry Lightfoot in the Essentials, and just a cool Southern gentleman. Passed away, tragic circumstances in 2006. Okay. Zap a crap on the guest bathroom. It's not real. It's a reprint. Okay. This is this is this is some candy right here. Mance Lipscomb and Freddie King. 
real early Armadillo World Headquarters poster. This is like a, a, a printer's experiment, okay? This poster, where they, they experimented with the red lettering, okay? Which they chose not to do, okay? They went ahead, these, these are handbills. The real, the posters ended up looking like the handbills with the black lettering, okay? But this is like a one-off, like, printer's experiment. Art by Jim Franklin, it's like a drawing, pen and ink drawing. Two masters of the blues. Poster and handbill. For you Floydian people, Floydian people, we have Avalon Ballroom, 1968. Poster, three postcards, framed in pink. This is my trophy piece right here. It's a grackle debacle, okay? 13th floor elevators poster. These are, there's probably like 10 of these on the planet. To save money at this time, the Vulcan was printing the posters in uh, on newsprint, so it's very fragile, you know. And and uh, to have it in this condition, to a specimen in this condition, it's, it's you know to even have a specimen, okay. But I had this restored too, all right. And then it was it was fr restored and framed in a sick ass uh, olive wood frame, okay, with an inner fillet. The inner fillet goes around it. You see it's wood, the inner fillet. And then a design cut in the matting. Grackle debacle, the two grackles. It's hands down my, my most valuable, most favorite poster. All right, uh, Jerry Lightfoot and his band of wonder. That's with Vince Welnick of the Grateful Dead and a who's who of uh, Texas luminaries in music. Uh, Carol in Wonderland, John X. Reed, Frosty, ba uh, Frosty Bartholomew on drums, and then George Kinney warming up, okay? This was back when George wasn't really into playing too many gigs, you know? George Kinney and the Blue Bonnet Road Band. This is a really cool design where somebody's lifting up the the shore and looking under into the ocean and seeing fish and everything under there. It's signed by George and signed by Jerry. Beautiful piece. Rocky Erickson and the Aliens at Mabuhay Gardens. Woohoo! Poster and three handbills. Golden Dawn. I call it the Naked Woman poster at the Parkside, signed by. George's band at the time, the Golden Dawn. Here's a, uh, this is called Inner City Tubes. And this is by Jim Franklin. Has Steve Miller uh, and, and Winter, Johnny Winter. It's a handbill. And again, it's framed. It's floated between two pieces of glass. Do you see that? Dead mint. All right, it's going to be better lit in here. That's my Elevators first album in stereo, picture disc, get out of there, mono first back cover, mono back cover, signed by John Ike, Clementine Hall, Tommy Hall, Ronnie Leatherman, and Rocky, okay? Beautiful. Here's another Mance Lipcomb Sheba's handbill floated between two pieces of glass. Velvet Underground card, okay. Iron Butterfly, I see the butterfly. It's a card with art by David Singer. This is a drawing. This comes from like running the group. You see that? Look at that. This guy drew that for me. It turns out he was mentally ill, okay? And so, he says, I just love this group you're running, Kylo. Love, love how you roll. I made this for you. And, and, I mean, it's even in greater detail up close, okay? 
It's, I'm not even doing it justice. He's got all the names of the songs written in the psychedelia. And Rocky's head exploding, okay? I framed it. I was like, whoa. I brought it in and framed it. Shiva's hand of uh, uh, Shiva's Vulcan handbill, okay? Paper handbill floated between two pieces of glass. Elevators reunion, 1984, that my pal Mike Jensen went to. Floated between two pieces of glass, signed by Rocky. This is, I call it the elevator's wall, okay? You can see. This is interesting. That's the three charlatans. Uh, this is for postcards, okay? But the elevators are on the middle one. And those are the stats. That's what they actually printed the poster with, okay? It's the stat. And, and uh, that's the three stats put together, okay? To make the image. So very rare. This is a, uh, a, uh, it's a cash box page, I think. Yeah, cash box. September 17th, 1966. You're going to miss me with the IA logo on it, okay? Signed by Tommy, Clementine, Danny, Thomas, John Eck Walton, Paul St. John. Rocky Erickson, okay, too. Everybody signed this sucker. Floated between two pieces of glass. Here, this is... There. There. I got these handbills. Fillmore and uh, uh, no, Avalon handbills, okay. Texas handbill. Ram said that's called. There's the Ortman print, or Ortman plate that went with the, the, uh, the uh, went with the four volumes of the Ortman scrapbook signed by everybody. Okay, it's a pyramid with an eye. Avalon posters, Fillmore postcard. That's slip inside you house, slip inside this house. DJ promo copy. Here, yeah, this is nice. This is another trophy piece. This is called Brains and Guts. 13th floor elevators, Shiva's headband, huge Vulcan poster, dead mint condition, okay? Do you see how it says pot, okay? P-O-T, do you see that in the center and the brain matter? Do you see how the green is a brain and it's squirting out all the ends? It's called Brains and Guts. Nice frame, triple matted, designs cut in the matting. I went to town on it. Okay, that, that's a, an enlargement, and it's a uh, acrylic paint, like a painting, signed by Victor Moscoso, if you can see that. And it was created and signed by Victor Moscoso, and that was for when Chet Helms, he was trying to get back into the concert promoting business and he was promoting gigs at the Maritime Academy. And um, he made these enlargements, okay, to hang around in there for decorations. And when the Maritime Academy went out of business, a friend of mine was there and bought it off the wall for a hundred bucks. And that's Electric Flag, Mad River, the Fugs, and the Elevators. Can you imagine? Elevators didn't appear at that gig. They were going through their well-documented breakdown, you know, at that time. But they, they, their name appears on, on the poster. There's a big power plant blacklight poster signed by my buddy George Kinney. Dead Mint, 1968 blacklight poster. There's four handbills for Rocky at the Long Branch. Rocky CD Club put that out, okay? And th these handbills are very common, but to have all four colors grouped together, very uncommon. These are all signed by the artist, too. Here's a, uh, a proof sheet, it's called. Two tickets, six postcards, the poster, okay? This is how it was printed to save uh, printing costs, and they would cut it up. This is Chambers Brothers, and... Uh, Iron Butterfly. 
it's very colorful and so the frame is like very colorful country joe and the fish proof sheet three tickets nine postcards a poster yoga broad i call her country joe and the fish here's another shiva's vulcan look at this frame i put on it you see that it's expensive ass frame okay double matted it's dead mint dead mint acid wash to get the acidity acidity mint frame big poster that is a rocky erickson in the aliens press kit cover when rock they'd send press kits around to get gig this was the cover dead mint press kit cover texas psych fest 2002 that's where the golden dawn got back together after 34 years I went, I flew out there, saw the gig, met my buddy George, started a friendship that's been going on for 10 years. Here's a uh, Golden Dawn, blow your mind, Golden Dawn on the thingies, okay? See their minds are being blown. Restored. You know, uh, this was in rough shape, this poster. You can't even tell, you know. My document restorer is like a genius. Um, acid washed, all the cracks fixed, you know, repaired. It's a very rare poster. Sorry about the light. Velvet Underground Iron Butterfly David Singer poster. Double matted with silver and like greenish see my, my framer kicks ass this is a proof sheet for an Otis Redding at the Family Dog in Denver concert and um, the artist that did this died okay this is t 6 of 35 okay and they found the, the designs and the plates okay the, and they completed it it's a Done by Wolfgang's vault, okay? And it's a commemorative piece, but authorized, okay? Commemorative piece. This is the, the proof sheet for it. See the colors on the side? And the, it's a totally psychedelic design, okay? Otis Redding. He died before he could play the gig. So I bought it. I love it. Put it up. This is called the All Texas Show, okay? It's an Avalon. Janice, Sir Doug, and a surprise visit on Sunday by the 13th floor elevators, okay? Who, it's debatable whether they appeared or not. That's Gloria Swanson, but it's called the All Texas Show. Extremely rare, okay? Armadillo World Headquarters, very early Armadillo World Headquarters poster when they were doing them in color, okay? It's called Floating Armadillo with art by Jim Franklin, Shiva's, you know, it's like, just a carry on for the Vulcan, you know, carry over, Shiva's headband, psychedelic man, totally rare. Here's a chocolate watch band poster, whoops, chocolate watch band poster and three postcards, those are second printing postcards, I think, but first printing poster and three postcards. Captain Beefheart and Chocolate Watchman. Can you imagine that, man? I mean, that would be so sick. I don't know if I'd ever come back from that, you know? I guess you might have to, you know, I don't know, you know? It's so sick, you know? Captain Beefheart and Chocolate Watchman together. It's totally sick, okay? Art by Wes Wilson. Lenny Bruce. And the mothers were warming up for him, okay? Frank Zappa said, poster and three, these are like third printing uh, postcards, I think, okay? But they go good with it. First printing poster. Frank asked Lenny to sign his draft card, and Lenny said, I don't even want to touch it, man. Lenny died shortly after this. Like, this was his last gig. Totally rare, okay? Totally rare. 
first opening of the Armadillo World headquarters was Shiva's, Shiva's headband. Art by Jim Franklin, of course. Grateful Dead uh, postcard, a dead mint. Cheap Thrills album cover I stuck in a frame because it's mint. I've had it. A Lenny Bruce, uh, That's I think that's a first printing postcard. Okay, here. We're coming coming to the the end of the line here. Can you imagine this? This is another sick, sick, sick gig, okay? Grateful Dead, the mothers and Quicksilver. Sick! Sick! Art by Wes Wilson. April 1966. Oh my god, okay? I'm going to get this poster someday for now, a uh, 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 postcard we'll have to do. Weasels Ripped by Flesh, album cover, Dead Mint. Say No More. And then Daily Flash, Country Joe and the Fish, Edgar Allan Poe. Two posters. Why is it two posters? Because the first one is the wrong dates, and the second one is the right dates. They had to do the poster twice. So it's the wrong and the right, the yin and the yang. I did, I did like a, a, a Baroque look. That's what the framer told me it was. I, shit, I don't know. You know, it just looks good to me. He says, we should go for a Baroque look on this frame. So it's like a Baroque look frame. Matted, double matted black and white, white matting. Totally sick. Totally sick. And then, since I'm showing you everything, let's see. Light on in here, yup. Okay. Golden Dawn and Shiva's handbill, okay? Signed by Spencer and, and, uh, and George, okay? And then, this is a Credence Clearwater Revival handbill set. It's an artist proof. Where I know the artist, okay? I bought this from him. He said, yeah, I did the action, and then I took like a shitty color, you know, like purple, you know, that I had a lot of, and I did a pass to see how it came out. That's the artist proof. It's totally detailed, okay? Then they would cut that up. I just saw John Fogarty the other night, okay? He kicked ass, okay? And I'll show you this. This is a uh, a print, the opening of the West. It's what's on the Truman Library in Independence, Missouri. That's that's like a whole wall mural, and you actually this you actually walk through. Okay, like the, these figures are almost life size. That's how big the picture is. The artist is Thomas Hart Benton, signed by Thomas Hart Benton and President Truman. Signed by Thomas Hart Benton and President Truman. Best wishes to Robert Smith, my dad. My dad was a li head librarian for the Truman Library when he got out of library school, a young man. And President Truman said, Bob, I understand you just had a healthy 